¿Puedo entrar o es sí, solo? ¿Sí? Ah, bueno, gracias. Sí. Regalo. Gracias. Por favor. Good morning guys from Lake Titicaca at the border of uh, Bolivia and Peru. Today we're going deep down in the lake to find some floating islands that are made from straws that you can see down there. Basically there are indigenous communities that have built these floating islands from straws and they live there. Uh, I have no idea why have they done that and I have no idea how they did it but today we're gonna find out. Uh, so yeah. I'm in this $10 uh, lodge, it's a really beautiful place with a really beautiful uh, family owned business. So let me show you around the room. So as I said, I paid $10 for this room. You have three beds, so basically if I had any friends, you could split it, split it and it would be like $3 a night. So it's very cheap because the breakfast is also included. We have uh, Django, the friendly pink flamingo that's always watching me when I sleep. Uh, the bathroom. It's also simple, they provide some towels and everything. Uh, it even has uh, hot water here and the pressure is uh, pretty nice. One of the best I've seen in Peru actually. Uh, yeah, also uh, during the night it gets very cold so the owner, uh, when it was uh, already like 9 p.m. brought me this thing, I don't know how it's called really, but it has like hot water. You put it down somewhere here, you know and then uh, it heats you up during the night it even has some heat here at the moment so yeah don't mind my mess now but we're gonna wait about 30 minutes and then we're gonna go with the owner of this place to the floating islands and later today i think we're even gonna help to do some stuff around here uh, as well like uh, watching the sheep or uh, cooking i don't know we'll see but yeah guys join me and let's go so the time has come that's the ship that we're gonna go with. I thought uh, that the owner is coming with me together, but he's not coming. So we're just going with that ship. It's gonna cost me 80 soles to get to the island for the whole like a tour. He'll talk, he'll tell me about everything and stuff. And uh, yeah, let's go. Okay. Antonio. 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 I think we're gonna have a private tour. I don't mind it. Let's go into the deep and unknown of Lake Titicaca. Let's look, so we finally came to the island. And look, this is all water and this is literally a floating island. And it's made from straws. What the fuck? <laughs> Hola. ¿Cómo estás? Look guys, it's all made from straws. Puedo entrar, sí? Gracias. Oh wow, even the, the land is a little bit soft. Wow, this is crazy, guys. Look, the whole house is even made from this. Wow. Okay, so a very interesting history that he talked about for half an hour, how the floating islands are made and the whole history of them. So basically what happened when the Spanish came, uh, the Incas uh, wanted to get away from them and they started building these little floating uh, uh, islands, not islands, uh, it's like a boat and they had a, one house with them and one family used to live here and they have a kitchen here as well and they used to hide in these cattails, it's called Totora in Spanish so to hide from the Spanish they used to uh, build these little uh, boats and hide in, in the bushes but then after maybe like 40 years ago uh, they didn't want to hide anymore, so they had to uh, and to get education for the kids and everything. They had to build the more sustainable uh, housing, so they started using these floating islands, and they're made from blocks like this. So actually, the whole floating island is made from a natural material that floats. So every year, they cut blocks of this material that is found around uh, the lake, and basically, uh, before they used to use the stick and cut uh, the, the blocks but now they're using uh, this saw that needs two people to cut them so after they cut the blocks and when uh, when the 
water season begins when the water starts to rise these blocks start to rise and they use ropes to get them out from the places where they cut them and then after they use the cattail the totora to make the floor so the floor is made in three weeks so in the first week they add the first floor the second week they add the second and the third week they add the fourth floor and why they do that because they don't have the all of the cattail the totora at one time so also uh, this is what they use to cook stuff so this is their kitchen and basically uh, but of course they cannot burn fire on top of the this material because the floating aisle is gonna burn so they use this kind of stone and they use the totora the cattail to make the fire uh, this is the typical houses that they built he said he takes about 30 days to build one and this is the uh, ancient house that they used to have it before but now they just um, use it as a kitchen also each of these floating islands has a boss uh, like a president and the first lady he told me <laughs> but yeah f to connect the blocks they also use this um, uh, stick that they cut, uh, put it in the block and then they put the rope around it and stick the blocks together yeah so it's a very interesting uh, uh, community and now they live mostly out of tourists but he said they do uh, three things they have three activities here so basically the first activity is fishing this is the, the fish that they have, uh, different kinds, one's from Canada, Argentina, that's a trout I think, and there's a, a catfish as well. The second activity is for women, they sew all kinds of linen clothing, like this. Yeah, the lady told it takes about a, a month to make one of these. And uh, the third, the men, they also have to work, so they make the houses and they repair the floating island because the island has to be repaired as well so yeah that's basically the uh, how this floating island works very interesting stuff now we're gonna see how one of the houses looks from for the from the lady his family let's take a look wow yaki see gracias so this is how they live dormen aquí see no tienen frío Ah, then and mas, mas, they have more blankets because it uh -huh. gets very cold in, in, the, in the night. Uh -huh. But yeah. Ah, si. Sí. Pero esta no protecta de lluvia? Si, arento si protecta. Aha. Esta. Si. Guys, so they use this to protect from the rain, but yeah. I would guess it gets very cold at night because in my in my habitation where I slept they got eh, una biblia también, sí. sí. <laughs> Están religiosos aquí, sí, sí. sí. <laughs> Muchas gracias. Es bonito. Mm -hmm. Guys, today is Sarah's birthday. From the last video, the girl that showed us uh, how they make quinoa and stuff. So I think I'm gonna buy her a present. This por 30 soles, sí. Sí, 30. Si voy a comprar una esta. <laughs> guys this is how they cook stuff the mini version that I showed you before this is the bigger version so this is the rock that they place they have a little stove they place their equipment here and they put the cattail the totora inside to burn it so guys we're leaving the floating islands it was a very interesting experience bye bye <laughs> Yeah, completely different world that uh, people live in. Get it, Goga. Get it, what you want to get it. Some poker for the energy. Ay. Bueno, muchísimas gracias, Antonio. Gracias. Les muy interesante y gracias. suerte para todo. Muchas gracias. Ciao. Well, guys, sir, we're back. It was very interesting. But uh, now let's go give a present. Sara es para tú. Regalo. Para gracias, ustedes. gracias, sí. gracias. Es para tu niño tal vez es una decoración. Ya, sí, gracias. Sí, sí, bueno. gracias, sí. What are you saying? Holy shit, holy shit, fucking let's try. I scared the donkey away. Oh my god, tranquilo.
I think he had a panic attack. So it's time for lunch. They have a special place for lunch to eat. We have Gina Hop that are eating as well with me. We have a soup of uh, oh, it's quinoa. It's sopa de quinoa, see? Si? Ah, yeah. So it's yesterday uh, where the uh, Sarah was making the blending the quinoa. So this is uh, the quinoa soup. It's for first time trying. Mmm, que rico, see? Si? Mm -hmm. Guys, they're teaching me some tricks with hands, but this is. <laughs> This is the second meal we got. So basically, we have uh, uh, papas, uh, the potato, but this potato is a special potato because it's cooked in, in the land. So they basically uh, dig up the land and they heat it up and then they put the potatoes and it cooks. Uh, they cook it somewhere there. We have some cheese from here, some salad with uh, peas. Uh, I think it's what is carrot? Mm, and, uh, yeah. And we have a lime as well. Let's put it here. Ah, let's try it. It's not a typical meal, so it's very nice to eat something different. I would love some meat as well, but it's fine. Let's taste the potato cooked in the ground. Mm. Qué rico, gracias. <laughs> ¿En serio? Sí, la vaquita que tengo, ¿vio? Ah, ¿ya? Sí, cada día, o sea que hoy día va a sacar leche y mañana el queso. En la tarde lo hacen para el día siguiente. Ah, sí. El qué, queso fresquito. Qué bonito. Sí. Qué wow. So the, the, the cheese is also fresh. They have a cow back down, uh, back behind the house. And basically the cheese is from the, from the cow. And it's from yesterday. Wow. So everything's really fresh here. Really delicious. <laughs> Guys, what a delicious meal and uh, the kids are really funny as well. Let's go take a look at the cow, the, the cheese we ate. Ah, this is the cow, I think. It looks like a baby and it looks kind of sad. But yeah, the, the man invited me to take a look how they process quinoa, I think. I didn't really understand, but in a few minutes we're going to go up top, up there, and they're going to show me how they process it because they need to do it as well. Funny thing that because of the gift, uh, they're gonna invite me to dinners, not dinner, supper. So I'm basically not gonna need to pay for it. So that's kind of nice because for this meal I paid uh, 17 soles. Yeah, so it's kind of more of the expensive part, but all of the ingredients are very uh, natural. So uh, I don't mind uh, eating something for a change, is good as well. Ooh! Mira! <laughs> See? <laughs> Guys, she, she's eating me, she's a cow! Oh. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> El cerdo! <laughs> See? Vamos! I guess they're gonna show me how the how the the quinoa is made processed, I think. No vendemos nada. Nada. Todo lo que tenemos es para autoconsumo. Claro, pero qué bueno que tienen toda la comida, todo es fresco. Generalmente hay familias que tienen más hijos, hay más niños. Claro. Tienen que comprar más comida todavía. Ah. Por ejemplo, esta persona tiene tiene cuatro hijos el de aquí. Y que, 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 que aquí es? sembraron papa. papas. Ya, ah, sí, ya papas, lo claro. Con el sí, pero pues, ahora no hay nada, ¿no? Sí, no hay nada. Porque no hay lluvia. Ah, Solo en, esta poja, en sí. esta poja no hay nada de agricultura. Sí. No, en ah. esta poja no hay nada. Ah. Sí, por eso es que se guarda la comida, porque no sabemos si este año va sí. a haber lluvia. Porque hay años que hay sequía. Claro. Entonces, ¿Qué es quía? Sequía. No hay, ah, no, no hay nada. No, 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 no. Generalmente carne no consumimos mucho. No consumimos no mucho carne. Consumimos ah. Mucho ah es más caro, más difícil. Más caro, difícil. En las también somos, nos hemos acostumbrado por nuestros padres, todos. Sí. Solo comen en festividades. Mm. Tenemos ovejitas, vaquitas, pero solo comemos en festividades. Cuando ah. hay un... Mira, 
gusta. So guys, I worked a little bit as a farmer and I moved here to the south to explain a little bit what, what's happening. So that machine that you see there has only been here for two years and before they used to do everything by hand. So at the moment they're cutting wheat and avena, uh, oatmeal, but it's a different kind of oatmeal. It's used for uh, the cows to eat. So it's a very interesting thing because these communities is like a family. So they change that machine between each other. So for example, now what we're actually doing is cutting up all year supply of the one family. And then when this is done, we're gonna move that machine to another family. Just look, they gave me a bottle of water because I helped them. <laughs> Guys, this is harder than you think. Oh well, guys, so we got it down all that mountain. Uh, not that easy. Much respect. Guys, it's time for dinner and we have a interesting meal, some rice. Um, I thought this was fish, but this is actually um, egg. And we have some kind of a stir fry of uh, potatoes mm, and carrot. Looks very delicious. Let's try uh, the omelet. I guess it's an omelet. Wow. Wow. El huevo es muy rico. Mm. Oh guys, having good. Si, claro. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode and uh, see you next time.